Uh, a big baboon. Thank you for having second punch. Gregory! Hold on, guys. A big baboon, my compa. Gregory! Hey, hey, hold on. It's a huge baboon, my God. Gregory! Wait, Dan! Baboon! <laughs> hey, it's a huge one. My God. <laughs> I had uh, such a bad energy burnout. Putting up everything together was not uh, so easy, but I've recovered uh, very well. I'm working for the school and for the teachers. I'm doing great things off cameras. I don't like to sell myself so high. I'll just surprise you guys with whatever I'm working on. And um, just encourage the pupils that um, they'll come to Mombasa. They will be able to swim and see all types of things they've been seeing on, on cameras. However, they have to be a little bit patient because uh, we, scheduled the, we scheduled the golf tournament uh, during Ramadan. Being a Christian, I wouldn't have known the impact it would have had on the event. Therefore, uh, the governor asks that we push the event to the 27th of April and kindly relate that one to them in a very candid, um, candid way yeah continue practicing i saw the owalo i loved the owalo dance however kindly you know let them maybe start by jumping up and down and let them release themselves so that they can be flexible on uh, you know in such um, occurrences uh, you can show them the videos of how, of how owalo is danced and then i've not seen your acquisition of asking for owalo i wonder why your children are dancing in uniform where they are singing do duero biro do duero biro how can dudu be biro with a uniform but anyway i understand the concept and i'll work on that <laughs> yeah but thank you very much mr tieno i saw you dancing hard at the back i could i could spot you and um, encourage the female uh, teachers to join the dance i mean it just can't be you i would like to see the female teachers dancing and jumping you know it's part of exercise and also you know uh, bonding with the children yeah yes otherwise thank you very much i'll be waiting for more videos when you're fighting taking videos please even uh, call it what the airplane takes against the sun the, the wind eh? <laughs> but that one, that one was a, a beautiful one yeah. Thank you. You're most welcome. Sweetie, yako inakuja. Sija sao. Wow. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, grade five. Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon. I'm Teacher Noel. Teacher Noel. Handling grade five. Yes. Yes, madam. In my class, yes, four are girls, two are boys. Mm -hmm. So far, I love the improvement in my class. Great. Uh, initially, we had issues with self esteem in some learners. Mm -hmm. Self esteem, right? But at least, yeah, I love what they are becoming. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Yes. When you say uh, we self, also need, uh, had, um, we also had a problem and I needed some special requirements, mm. which you provided for me, and I'm very, very grateful for y that. You're most welcome. We are very grateful. I gave out some panties, mm -hmm. and I'm very, very thankful. Oh, you're most welcome. I was just coming to that. I'd left the panties in my office. They were given to you. Yes. I also sent a um, new bunch of sanitary towels. Did they arrive in school? They did. Okay. So, especially grade 8, grade 7, grade 6, grade 5 and 4. Right? Yes. Uh, grade 4 is how old? Yeah. 10 to 12. 10 to 12. Grade 3? Wow. So they start their menses too early, 
and I believe the, the, the female teachers are able to assist us with that. Uh, we give them sanitary towels in the big... I, I need you guys to know the exact dates of when they are having their peace. Okay? When you are doing your guiding and counseling, I think you should have a calendar of when the girls are having their peace so you can carry them through. There are those who have stomachache, there are those who do not know how to handle it. So that when you see a child behaving in a funny way, you might you are able to know, oh, now the time for menses have come, right? It's very important for teachers to know when the children are going or the pupils are having their menses. That should be also part of our responsibility. Sure. Yeah, so we avoid, uh, you know, the grumpiness, the shouting, like some of me, some people like us can't handle menses. I start screaming and shouting, then I have all this headache, I have all these mood swings, and people, then you end up affecting people around you. So if we are able to know when they're having their menses, their deaths, then you know how to handle the class. Strong. Yeah. Okay. So, Madam Naomi will give our center the towels today so that you're able to give them for the month of March, right? Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for that. Mm -hmm. Papa, mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of improvement in my class. A big baboon. Thank you for having taken part. Gregory! Hold on, guys. A big baboon, my compa. Gregory! <laughs> Hey, hey, hold on. It's a huge baboon, my God. Gregory! Where? Dan! Baboon! <laughs> hey, it's a huge one. My God. Mwemwana! <laughs> Neu! <laughs> Ameenda na kule pale. Kubwa kweli. Baboon. Ameenda hivi hapa nyumba ya nyumba huko. Ndio It's it's very scary. Kwani zatoka wapi? Bali kule Hamna ndizi hapa. Lamo. Hamna ndizi hapa. Jana pia nimeona the I don't know where they're coming from. I think there's a bush just next to my home here. So, so thank you. So, Poleni, sorry, sorry guys, I'm working from home. I told you I'm 60% awake, 40% I'm still struggling. That's why you can hear I'm struggling with my English today. So thank you very much, Madam Niola. Noel, Noel, thank you very much, Mama. God bless you, thank you. Uh, grade 5. Grade five? We are done with five. We're going to oh, we're done to, we are going to four. Yes. Uh, oh. Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon, teacher Nancy. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Mm -hmm. Kindly carry me um, through. Yes, in grade four. Mm. Sharon is the class teacher. Okay. But I'll talk on her behalf. Mm -hmm. Since I also want some subject in that class. Okay. And as well, I know some of the challenges the students are having in mm. that class. Okay, great. Which subjects? Mm -hmm. The subjects I handle are uh, science and technology. Science and technology. Mm -hmm. Agreed and nutrition. Mm -hmm. Special studies. Mm -hmm. Meal sync. Mm -hmm. Just those ones for grade four. Okay. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know how much in grade five. And total studies in grade five. Okay. Mm. Oh, that's so, great. Mm. In grade four, mm. there's a big progress. Mm -hmm. in, before the when we join. 
Most of them were just about to go, they were writing about the home plan when they are given, they are not good. They were not doing homeworks? Yes, but as for now, we followed them. Okay. And as for now, they are a far, they are doing them, and things are just continuing. Okay. Then the main challenge we have there in the school, mm. We don't have enough taste with madam. Oh, they were supposed to be ordered. Do you talk to madam Naomi? You already did the requirements. That one you discussed with the admin. Sir, Sir thank you for that. You're welcome. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, another thing. Hmm. I have a uh, learner there. Yeah. We somehow, I don't know the school background or the performance. She's not that performing, but she has a lot of sharing. You cannot even identify. Sometimes you do things the new. The learning area in one group, next to that, all the exercise group. I confirm that one to be. Hold on. What is the challenge? She's even mixing the learning areas in one book. Yeah? How old is she? Is he a she boy or a girl? She's a girl. What's her name? Linda Atieno. Is she one of the sponsors, sponsored uh, pupils? Yes. Uh, is, her mother, uh, is her mother working in the compound? No. Uh, which girl is this? If you send me her photo, I'll be able to know and identify who her mother is. Have you called the mother to school to ask, to, 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 to explain? Or to inquire? I called the mother. Mm. But uh, the day when uh, I asked the parent to come, mm. the girl even her son was absent. Huh? So they were not, they were absent. Never, I don't think because even the man her son was not there. But did she resume to school? After this problem, mm. I talked to her teacher. But wait, after you told her to go and bring come back with the parents, and then she didn't show her mm. up back to school. Did she come back to school? Yes. And then what was her excuse of not turning up and not and the parents not turning up? She was sick that day. And since you asked the parents to come, the mother has never come. Yes, I've not seen the parents. You see, um, Teacher Malala, I'm having a big problem with these uh, sponsored uh, children. Eh? Their parents think they've, yeah. they've, they've, they, their parents think that I can take full responsibility of, of even we welfare of their no. of their own their, of their children. There are some parents there that have been asked to come to school up until today. They have never shown up. They have never showed up. Now, on, on, on her case, yeah. I, I actually called the mother from school. And uh, she came, by the way, she came. Mm -hmm. She's called the Molly now. She is the one that you see. Oh, this Molly. Hold on. Oh, is the daughter to Molly? Yeah, it's Molly's daughter. This the 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 black dark skinny girl. The short one, yes. The small one. Yes. How is the big one doing? The big one is in grade seven. Seven, yes. That's me, Tony. How is her? How is her academic progress? No, she's improving. The problem is with Linda. Yeah. But the mother should be, you see, the mother is not responding and is not, no, and we are talking about this child that is mixing things. And she's not, uh, wait, um, this is too, uh, this is too complicated. I, I need to be on the ground to hear this, but then I do not really have time. We are even sharing this Madam Naomi, she's our own Oh, you shared with Madam Naomi. Is it is it on the on the on today's report? Because you see, uh, uh, Teacher Malala, you see these children have their parents. Eh? It's not like they are total orphans. 
and you should not handle their parents like you are handling eggs the only people who are supposed to be handled like eggs are children not these parents they were very much aware when they were giving birth to these children and if i have offered as to give them uh, you know a free uh, sponsorship of education then they should take uh, some responsibilities sasa nitapigiwa kama mtoto ana kalamu nitapigiwa jamani kisa sababu nimechukua watoto lakini na nikikufa the way i was sick last time if i didn't wake up if if sponsored children let me just now ask uh, mwalimu if sponsor if i've sponsored everything from breakfast lunch transport okay books to start with uniform sportswear or oh, really the is too much and you know all these women are as fertile as i don't know what because you can see one sponsored family has five children okay my phone is going to go off yeah i really do you know teacher malala i am a human being right and i equally get very very i get very demoralized sometimes i even feel like crying i feel like people take advantage of me because in a scenario you are also a parent right you have gotten a good samaritan who has taken four of your children from uniform uniform at akode academy only uniform peke yake from head to toe is about 13000 isn't it plus sweater viatu and all these things okay all these things are bought i don't have sponsors <laughs> right and three quarters of the school are sponsored students and teacher naomi told me she equally has a challenge with these parents coming to school when they're called where they're asked to come what are they doing where are they there are staff who have refused completely because huh? i've sent letters like three times made calls they don't come no wonder their children are not going to school so how do we handle this because this kind of things and it's not only them by the way i have a bunch of women who came and dumped for me from once two three years ago i took the children to school they never followed up in schools so imagine me getting myself onto all these rough roads going to check up on people's children after i paid school fee so i also got tired Now like this this morning uh, yeah it's this these are the things that really you see write a very um write a very urgent and straightforward letter I don't want to promise on Monday I don't want to address these parents because if I do I don't want to address these parents I'll allow you handle these parents as the school head teacher together with the admin tell them madam is not here anymore and this is how the school is going to run Haona namba yangu so just tell them uh, this is how the school is going to run and if they're they insisting that their children have to be in a class they cannot and children are not performing because of the background Understood. now if they're not coming even at school to check on the progress of their children my god okay okay madam yeah uh, it was just uh what you have but okay uh, we, are, we, are, we are progressing well but the rest of the students are okay yes. all right hmm. grade three Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon. Who is there? This is Chapamela. Chapamela, how are you? Yes, madam. Okay. How have you been? Yeah. I have not some improvement. No? Not like when we started the term. Hmm. Like, I had, I had this boy called Amy Evans. Hmm. He was very weak. Elie Evans. Yeah. 
Ellie Evans. Um, the mother works from the other side of the school. They say they have a section of the school. Hmm. Yeah. At least now he can communicate. Yeah. He does his work well. The only challenge he was having this week was exercise book. Mm -hmm. But I sent him to the mom and the mother went just to the mother by buying him myself. Mm -hmm. He promised my mom that the books will be there. Okay. Yeah. The I don't see any report on exercise books. See, I left the exercise, I, I don't know. Um, when it comes to those, you talk to Madam Naomi because I do not know what is where, when. I was down for almost yeah. three weeks, so I lost touch. But I don't see, for me, in my reports, I don't see shortage of exercise books. For me, this one is, because um, I believe each and every child got enough um, I ordered for almost uh, a thousand exercise books. No idea where they went. But uh, I hope by Monday he will bring the books. I had reported that if he doesn't bring, I just go into my pocket and at least I. No, but there are books in my office. Can you talk to Teacher Naomi, uh, to Madam Naomi, please? Okay. By the time I was leaving, Thank you. by the time I was leaving for my holiday, there are books in my office. Uh, on my in my okay. report, I don't see any. Where are the reports, Danish? I'm so angry, Paka. And leave hold. Uh, teacher Malala. Each and every child was given almost like 24 books, set of books, right? Teacher Malala. Yes, I'm just a new one. Thank you. Thank you.